Uh, so presenting Where's My Field, which is the originally the ARCAS project. So Nicoletta has this data that she's she's used multiple APIs. Um, she's communicated with multiple APIs for journals to uh, assemble some scholarly metadata. And we thought, well, what's the potential for scholarly metadata? Which there's several services out there. It's got you can understand. We need next one. Sorry. Okay. Um, so the data we have available to us, we know authors, we know journals and publications, we know institutions they're at, um, conferences they go to, but at the moment there's not really a good service to understand all of this data in an easy way and perhaps in a free way. Web of Science is very good perhaps, but it's closed. Uh, so we're understand, we want to see whether we can make this easy. So we built Where's My Field, which is a web app to make it easy for users to visualise, explore and understand the open metadata for the scholarly literature. Um, and the basic concept is that if you are somebody starting new into a field and you know a term in your field, can you understand your field in terms of other concepts, the papers that are being published, the people who are doing the publishing, and which conferences they may be going to um, in order to uh, em embed yourself in that field without doing a six-month literature review. Okay, so the idea is that this is a, uh, a one-stop dashboard where if you've got a certain keyword that you use a lot, um, you can type that keyword into the what you care about, and um, these three sort of panels come up, telling you what most popular journals for that field, um, what sort of other keywords should you start, sort of be looking at um, that might be of interest to you, and also who are the popular authors and what sort of network of authors are talking about that sort of thing. So you can see that we type in uh, prisoner, because Nick Lepper studies the prisoner's dilemma. Um, Is it running? Yeah, I can't spell it, but um, these sort of panels are up. These panels are powered behind by um, some basic statistics and some machine learning code. For example, the, the journals is a, is a popular account, uh, and the keywords and authors come from networks of similar things that you can start clustering on. Do you want to finish off? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. So uh, our team has no web development experience or front-end experience, and we started off with this data, thinking we'd do something with this data and realise what we're actually building is a web app without any skills or experience. So these guys did a great job without using Flask to make a website that shows some data. And then we thought, we, what we're actually interested in is what you think the potential for this metadata is. Uh, so we want to take you through our vision. So if you were to hit where's my field, you could search, I'm interested in game theory, let's search for game theory. Okay, and so you, you can get these dashboards up. So learn the lingo. What are the associated concepts with game theory? Do I have the right term for searching? Because a lot of the time you start research, you know a word, but it may not get you to literature well. So, okay, if I'm learning the lingo, I could crack the community. Who, who are the people who are researching this field? And I could find the field. Where are they publishing and where are they presenting their work? Okay, so if I want to dig down into the concepts in that literature, um, I can see a concept map of... Uh, all the words, um, and I can maybe say, actually, I don't mean game theory, I mean strategy. That's what I really mean. And so that will replace that. We can search for strategy instead. Or maybe actually I think, oh, I think I mean game theory and strategy. So let's refine my search result and add in game theory. Yeah. You can do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then we get a refined concept map. All right, so I know my field now. I know the kind of terms I need to be using. So can I work out who's, who's working in this field? So... Can I crack the community? Here are the people involved. Oh, Maria, she looks pretty interesting. She looks like she's at the hub of this network. Who is she? Where does she work? Are there external links to Orchid? Can I find out a bit more? You know what? I really want to get to know Maria. I, I think I need to add her to the list of my future friends. Okay, right. So now I know that I want to stalk Maria. Where can I find Maria? Okay, where can I find Maria? Right, so where are people publishing? We're publishing in these journals. Oh, what's, what's going on in POS1 at the moment? Oh, these are the journals that are related to this. Um, and I can dig into this, this article in particular, is there a DOI? Can I access it for free through on payroll? And if I can't, can I request the paper through the open access button? Okay, and if I want to go and present work or get to know the community and really mingle and stalk Maria down to a T, which conference should I be going to? Oh, Infocom's coming up, excellent. Can I find some more info? Can I submit a uh, paper to it? Can I apply? Uh, and what are the other conferences? And oh, here's some proceedings that go with that conference as well. Some, some people 
Do that. Excellent. Okay. That's the end. Brilliant. <laughs>